Um, today is Pentecost Sunday, and we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. So I wanted today's sneaky minister's trick be tied to Pentecost in some form or fashion. Now, Matthew 7, 13, it says, Enter through the gate, for the gate is wide, and, and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter it. For the gate is small, and the way is narrow that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Now, for us to go through the narrow gate, we need to be children of God. Now, if we are children of God, then we have been given the Holy Spirit. The Church of the Brethren is not big on the Holy Spirit. And what I'm saying is, we don't hear a lot of sermons on the Holy Spirit. We don't jump in our ways, which is fine. Uh, we don't jump in the air, that's fine. And that's a old uh, brethren, uh, I'm not sure if he was a minister or not, in, in Quarryville, uh, Pennsylvania once said, he was asked about the question about people who jump up and down and shout. And he says, I don't care how high they jump. As long as when they hit the ground, they're walking a straight path. So it doesn't bother me neither. But what are some of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit? He guides us into all truth. He teaches us all things. He empowers us with inner strength. He produces godly fruit in our hearts. Freely gives us spiritual gifts. Helps us in our weakness. And leads us in every part of our lives. That's the Holy Spirit. Some of the things that he does for us. He gives us wisdom. And without wisdom, you can't have knowledge. And without knowledge, you can't have understanding. He counsels us, which is right judgment. He gives us fortitude. Fortitude means courage, being able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. He gives us piety, which is reverence, and fear of the Lord, which is wonder and awe. So if Cole would come up here. Now, y'all read this? It says, oh, no. How many times have we gone through life and we say, oh, no. Well, you put it in your own no bag. We all have those days. Now, I asked Colby to help me out. I told him I would pay him a quarter. The luck he gave me, like, now, when I was your age, a quarter was a lot of money. Unfortunately for Cole, when I said a quarter, he looks at me and thinks, like, are you kidding me? Well, you learn I'm cheap. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you a question. Hopefully, my coin purse. Let's see, we use these when I was your age, too. You don't use these, do you? No. Well, you should. <laughs> I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay, I'm going to. Let's do this. Okay. This is. All right, it's just a 50 cent piece, and this is, and I said I was going to let you earn a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you can't do what I ask you to do. Here's your quarter. I'm taking a 50 cent piece because I'm your senior, and we get more money, so I'm on a higher pay scale. Now, what I want you to do, this is a empty pop bottle. Take a look at it. Put the quarter in the bottle. Pretty simple. Put the quarter in the bottle. Doesn't fit. That's not my problem. Put the quarter <laughs> in the bottle. Okay. So if I can put this fifty cent piece in the bottle, you'll be impressed, won't you? Yeah. Hold this. Now instead of having a black one, I use the blue. Today's you're supposed to wear red, because red symbolizes the uh, Holy Spirit within us. So I've got red. I'll give you red. It's kind of a <laughs> pinkish red, but it's red enough. You got red. So I'm going to take this quarter, put it down here. Now I'm going to, now is there anything in here? Make sure there's nothing in here, right? No, there's nothing in there. Okay. I'm going to try to take this. I'm hoping this works. Now maybe we don't. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to try to put this in here. I'm going to stuff it. And then you move the Holy Spirit. Kind of <laughs> What's in here? The 50 cent piece. You can keep your quarter. Thank you. Although you didn't do it, the 50 is in here. So uh, uh, anyway, the reason I did this is the Holy Spirit does things that we don't understand. We don't.
but he does it. Now, Cole has a quarter. He could not get a little quarter into this, and I got a 50 cent piece in here. I'm not going to tell you how I did it, but just it's just like the Holy Spirit. He does things we don't understand, and that's today's sneaky minister's message tied to Pentecost. So I'll give this to you.